came down to the City Park Golf Course or several homes in the Cole neighborhood. Denver just announced plans to move forward with a flood control project on the golf course. And despite that decision, there's already a lawsuit in the works to stop that. Denver 7's Jennifer Kovaleski is here in the studio with us. And Jen, so the viewers know we're talking about that area right there near the Denver Zoo. Yeah, Adam, right across the street. And we're talking about what would happen if Denver has to deal with a major downpour. Now, here's where the water would be redirected. It's in the lower part of the City Park golf course. Any other time, you could still golf here. And our recommendation is for a City Park golf course to um, be the temporary storage for the detention. With any major announcement comes controversy. A project schedules. People holding up signs in silent protests. I'm more than concerned. I'm really upset about it. Change is always hard, um, but it's important to realize that what we're trying to do here is protect homes and businesses, lives and property uh, from flood. Flood danger. The City Park Golf Course will now be home to a 45-acre storm water project. Denver says it chose this location over the coal neighborhood because it impacts fewer homes and businesses, which is why some support the decision. We don't want to displace kids and families from their homes, so of course, uh, using the City Park Golf Course is, is the ideal choice. But others, like former Colorado Attorney General J.D. McFarland, who lives in the neighborhood, strongly oppose the idea. The city is, in my opinion, trying to grab some property for another purpose that was never intended. McFarland now plans to fight the project in court. His attorney already sent this notice to Denver's attorney. Why did I want to do that? Because I thought what the city was doing was wrong. I think there's a pretty good argument that this is not uh, within the bounds of the law as it stands right now. The city attorney's office is, is reviewing that notice. Now, Denver continues to stress that the project is needed to prevent a potential catastrophic flood. The city will now move into the design phase. Construction is expected to begin in 2017 with a completion date in sometime 2018. Adam? 